Hi guys, Mr. Murphy here again. Last part of 7.rp.2, Ratios and Proportions. Recognize and represent proportional relationships between quantities. This is 7.rp.2d. Explain what a point x, y on the graph of a proportional relationship means in terms of the situation with special attention to the points 0, 0, and 1r where r is the unit rate. Um, it, does, it sounds complicated, but it's not. Uh, we have to pay attention to words. So let's take a look at an, an example. If a bag of apples costs $3, write an equation and then graph a representation of the cost of apples for the number of bags bought. Let's see, let cost equal C and the number of bags equal B. So what are we talking about? We're talking about apples and how much they cost. We can buy them by the bag and each bag costs $3. Not too difficult. So here's our graph. You can see the cost goes up to the left and the number of bags of apples is going across left and right. We have our equation, cost equals their constant of proportionality, 3, times the number of bags, B. So if I have one bag, it costs $3. If I want to buy two bags, it costs $6. If I want to buy three bags, it costs $9. And if I don't buy any bags, it doesn't cost me any money. So those are the points, really. So this point right here is the point 2, 6. And I'm sorry I didn't write it down there, but parentheses, 2, comma, 6. Close your parentheses. That means I bought two bags and I paid $6. This point here, this green one, is the point 3, 9. And what does that mean? That means we bought three bags of apples and it cost $9. That's simple. <clears throat> now the two important points are 0, 0. This means I bought zero bags and I paid no money. So whatever the equation is, whatever the word problem is, you always, when they're proportional, you always start at 0, 0. You have nothing and it cost you nothing or it took you no time or the unit rate you have none of and the cost, the amount of units you have, the quantity is none. <clears throat> the first one is always the unit rate. So if I buy one bag of apples, that's one unit, what is my cost? It's going to be my constant. So this point, one, three, is the unit rate and the unit and so if you ever have a proportional relationship you will always have a zero zero and a one something and it'll be a straight line if you want to know what the unit rate is you look at this point at one and whatever number is over here on the y-axis will be your unit rate so if it was at half it would be down here if it was at 10, it would be way up here. But in this case, it's 3, so it's right here. That's the 1R point. <clears throat> so in summary, any point x, y is the unit and the quantity. So however many things I buy or however many hours I run or minutes or seconds or whatever, and y is the total quantity. So it would be y equals 3 times x, or y equals 1 third times x. It's y will always equal the x times your uh, constant. 0, 0 is the origin. <clears throat> so that's where you start. It's you have nothing, and you haven't gone up any unit rates. And 1R is the unit rate. 1 times whatever your constant is, your unit rate, is this R. So that's it. That's the whole thing 
Um, that is the whole standard. Number two, recognize and represent proportional relationships between quantities.